Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let the living soul in the house say praise the Lord. This is Evangelist Joshua broadcasting from Lagos, Nigeria. And you are welcome to Evangelist Joshua TV. A TV station that will teach you how to interpret your dreams with warfare prayers. I have a friend recently, a very my girlfriend. I went to her office recently, many years ago. I went to her office. As I went to her office to pay her a courtesy visit. But all of a sudden, there was a big rat that passes across her. And immediately that my girlfriend saw that big rat, she ran out of that office with anger, with anxiety. I was like, wow, rats? How could rat just scare you out of your office? So with this, we'll be talking on a the, on the, on the very important topic. And the title of our dream interpretation today is Spiritual Meaning of Rats in the Dream. Spiritual Meaning of Rats in the Dream. I've received lots of mails, messages, phone calls, evangelists. Wow. I've received a uh, dream about rats. I've been dreaming about rats, rats licking my body, biting me, chasing me, seeing a lot of rats. And what does it, what, does, what is this? What does the spiritual significance of seeing rats? The Bible says in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 1, it says, Let us cleanse ourselves from all fitness of the flesh and the spirit, perfecting the holiness in the fear of God. We all know that death and environment attract rats. We all know when house is unkept, can easily attract rodents, mice, rats into the home. Rats cannot easily enter into someone's house when the house is not clean. In fact, a clean house is an enemy to rats. So when you are seeing rats in the dream, it's a bad dream as a Christian. As the Bible says, cleanse ourselves from all fitness. It said, cleanliness is next to godliness. So when you are seeing rats in the dream, that is a sign of sin. That is a sign that you as a person, as a dreamer, you are playing with sin. I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you more uh, some symptoms about rats very soon. It's me, you are, you, are, you, are, you are playing with sin. It means your environment is you are you are sinful. Or you are in a sinful environment, you are in a polluted area, but maybe you are committing sin. That is it. Then when you are seeing rat in the dream, it means there's a covenant, ancestral covenant between you and the spirit of struggle. Rats. Ancestral covenant between you and the spirit of struggle. When you are seeing rat in the dream. It means a spirit of poverty. When you are seeing rats in your dream, it means the spirit of hardship. When you are seeing rats in the dream, it means the spirit of suffering and slavery. That is that. Someone says, one of my followers says, evangelist, why do you always talk about bad dreams, bad dreams, bad dreams? What about good dreams? And for this purpose, I want to talk about the good side of the rat. And the good side, okay? But the purpose of that man that he made me recently, about why is that this... Now, when rat, for, the, for, for that person that is watching my... That particular person that's watching my video right now, when you are chasing rat in the dream, it signifies breakthrough. It signifies you are eliminating the spirit of darkness, the spirit of hardship away from your life. You are chasing them away. You are chasing away every symptoms, anything that will bring that will, that would like to bring disappointment on your way. Now, take for instance, rats. Now, for example, rat bite you in the dream. You saw rat bite you in the dream, maybe in the physical realm. Just saw your rat bite you. Miss Riscara, maybe bite your leg. First thing, you feel pains. And another thing, 
it will transfer something medically into your body. I don't know the medical terms, terminology for it. But in the spiritual realm, when rat bites you, it means that they have they have poisoned you. Just as a result of if a snake bites somebody in the dream and a rat bites you, it means that there will be unprofitable investment. It means that your finances, in fact, you will not even know, you, you, you can't even account for your finances. That is the bite of a rat. When a rat bites you, it means, watch out, there's a devourer that is trying to attack your home. When a rat bites your hand, it means that that hand, hmm, that hand, will not, money will not last long in that hand. In other way, it means that that hand will not achieve any good thing. When a rat bites your hand, it means that there will be spiritual holes in your hand. What they call, like my father in the Lord, Dr. Deke Olukoya, we say, is spiritual holes. Spiritual holes in your hand. Basket hand. When somebody is tossing money, you will be tossing money. But you will not even know where that money is going to. How could a man be receiving about 100000 as a salary in his place of work? I don't know how much 100000 I don't know how much that one which signifies in, in dollars. He's receiving such amount of money in his place of work. But all of a sudden, the person cannot even account. Every month, every week, he keeps on spending more responsibility than the spirit of devourer. If it's actually, if you trace the life of that man, it's as a result, it might be that a rat have beaten, a rat has biting his hand or his leg, as the case may be. And when a rat bites your hand or your leg, it's a symbol and it's a warning that there's somebody, it could be a woman, a woman can be a devourer to a man. A woman, of course. A woman that is ready to eat you up. Eat your finances. A man can be a devourer to a woman. A, wo a man that is ready, a devourer, can come to come and have sex with that woman. It's a devourer. A devourer may not necessarily be limited to finances. A woman comes, maybe a, a married woman, you are committing adultery. I mean, you are committing, a, it's, a, it's a spirit of devourer. There's no amount of effort you make that will amount to that will that will lead to your success, because why? Rat is biting your hand, and rat is biting your leg. Take note of those two things. When rat is biting your hand, biting your leg, ah. In fact, I always I always recommend deliverance to to those set of people. I always do your deliverance at mountain of fire at prayer city. Conduct your radical and thorough deliverance from the spirit of rats. And when rat bites you in the dream, rat bites you in the dream, and if you trace the source of that bite, you will discover it's another bite is coming from somebody that ate you. Somebody that ate you, unfriendly friend, maybe say somebody in your family who is standing as an enemy of progress. They will all of a sudden, they will convert themselves into rats in the spiritual realm, not in the physical, in the spiritual realm. Come and bite you. Either you. Sometimes, I had it. I had a, 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 an, a, an email where a woman wrote me that evangelist. I had a dream where whereby, right, bite my head. Hey, that is bad. You need to go for deliverance. You don't need anybody to tell you this to interpret this to you because when you wake up, all of a sudden you will discover that you are not stable in your spirit. That is the essence of dream interpretation. Now, you had a dream. Where uh, rats cross your leg, ha! When rats cross your leg, the part of your leg, it shows that that leg has been tied down. Yes, or you saw holes, or or rats pull on your legs. It means that leg has been tied down. Where the Bible says the step of a man is ordered by God. It means that in that case, it means that that person. We never, we never get to his promised land because that person has been tied down, which represents or which symbolizes stagnation 
and demotion. Praise the Lord. So when you are seeing lots of rats, when you are seeing lots of rats in the dream, it signifies agents of darkness. It signifies your enemies ganging up against you. Because there are many. Your enemies ganging up against you. <laughs> lots of rats. What is their mission? Remember in John 10.10, 10, they are planning evil against you. It could be somebody that is trying to betray you, first accusation, ganging up conspiracy. That is the meaning of that lot of rats. Praise the Lord. I want you to pay attentively to this broadcast. This is a very serious matter. When you see rats, you dream about rats eating your food, your pot of soup, your pot of food, your, your rice. You cook your delicious rice, beans in the dream. You don't discover your dream. Ah, ah, how could just rats be eating my food in the dream? <laughs> even though the rat is not eating your food in your physical realm, even that one alone means that you are eating a polluted food. And if you discover that it was rice that rat ate in that dream, and paraventure in your physical realm, you have rats, uh, rice in your pot in, in your pot. If you eat that rice, it will turn to poison in your body. Not only that, it will turn to serpents in your body that will be crawling. You know, people complaining of moving object, it will be crawling around your body, crawling, as if somebody, so as if there will be odd sensation. This is a situation whereby somebody will go to a hospital. Doctor, what is wrong with me? We can't find anything. That is the spirit of this rat trying to use somebody. Somebody will get money. You'll be, use, you'll be spending that money on sickness, on disease, sickness that can defy all medical attention. I pray for you. May that not be your case in the name of Jesus Christ. But when rat is chasing you in the dream, ha, rat is chasing you. You can see as small as rat, it's. Is chasing you in your dream. Ah, that is strange. It's very, very strange. It means three things. Take note of this. Rat is chasing you. It means three things. It means your enemy is trying to transfer problem into your life. Take note of that. It means that your enemy is trying to transfer problem. Now, me and you, stubborn enemy. Yes, you go give him, you go push him to you. It might be your family. Ah, he's the breadwinner of the family. Let's, he's the firstborn. Let us transfer that problem to him on his head. It could be somebody in your own family. No, ah, I'm, 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 I'm not, I'm not working. The money I'm collecting from, from my place of work, it's not, cannot work that for your family. It means that they are trying to shift away responsibility on your head. It could be your enemy or anybody. I don't know. That's number one. Then number two, when rat is chasing you in your dream, rat is chasing your dream. It means a witchcraft in your family. There's a particular witchcraft. It could be a woman, a man, that is always against you. All of a sudden, that person just hates you for no reason. It could be your family or your friend. Those are the people that are chasing you. Then the last one, it means the enemy is trying to stop you, to arrest you, and to drag you backward. You know, when somebody's running, definitely that person is moving forward. But your enemy have seen it. They projected into the same rat to arrest you. And to bring you back in, into their bondage. Into their bondage. You see, no, you are, no, you are going nowhere. As small as rat is in a dream. Don't say it is a small rat. It has a spiritual meaning. Because that rat is a human being. As the case may be. So, that is that. And also, if you see rats attacking you. It represents those struggles. It represents diverted destinies. It represents setback, disappointment, near success syndrome. I pray for you. You that man, you that woman that is watching me. Perhaps you come from a home that has been cursed. Perhaps you come from a home that is known for struggle and struggle and struggle. No one ever succeeded in your family. No one ever married in your family. That's the meaning of wrath. No one ever do what their mates are doing. That's the meaning of wrath. I pray for you. Your story will change tonight in the name of Jesus. I pray for you. Whatsoever things you lay your hand upon shall prosper in the name of Jesus. I pray for you. Any rat that is eating your document in the dream. Any rat 
that is eating your document, eating your credentials in your dream. I pray within the next three days, they shall vomit them out in the name of Jesus. They shall vomit them out in the name of Jesus Christ. That rat that is crawling, moving around your silly, your house silly, moving around, around your room as a monitoring spirit to stop you, to arrest you, to put you into captivity. Any rat sent from your forefathers, from your father's house, from your, from your mother's house, in order to disturb you, in order to shake you out from the presence of God. I command them to die in the name of Jesus Christ. You know, I, I think I've shared this 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 story to you all, but let me just share it again since I'm talking about rats. There was a woman. There was a woman in Nigeria, yeah. She was trying to travel out to US. So when they got to the airport, they were trying to search for search, I think you know at the checking point, trying to search her, her luggages to know if everything is safe. And fortunately, everything is good. There was no counterfeit product or something and all, all counterfeit materials. And this woman traveled to the U.S. successfully. Something strange happened. When this woman got to her house in the United States, immediately she opened her bag. Behold what she saw. She saw rats, a very big rat, jump out from that, from her bus and just go straight and hide and hide himself. Since that day, it has been battle upon battle. The enemy have used that rat to monitor that woman in the United States of America. All these things, they are not stories we read from somewhere. They are true, practical life story. I pray for you. Any evil agent, agent, darkness, enemy of progress that does not want you to prosper, Within the next three days, they shall receive the stone of death in the name of Jesus Christ. And any rat, if you are dreaming about rats, eating, biting your document, you have to pray very well, though. Pray against the spirit of joblessness. Pray against the spirit, you know, that try, trying to eat your document. They don't want you to progress. How could somebody be in, in, in abroad and you are saying the rat eating your document? They want you. They want to. They want to deport you back to your country. I pray, any any of the expectation will never come to pass in Jesus' name. Thank you all. Thank you for watching this broadcast. And if you have not subscribed to this channel, maybe you are just watching this channel for the very first time. Maybe you just stumbled upon my YouTube channel. This is the first time. So I welcome you. I, I encourage you to subscribe. Invite your friends. Invite your family. Invite your even your enemies. They can also enjoy from this broadcast today. God bless you all in Jesus' name. Write at the comment section, write dreams that is pointed to rat, mice, rose, or rodent, anyone. By the grace of God, the Lord will help me and I will interpret the one I can interpret by His grace. So, if the Lord has laid it in your heart, your spirit, in your soul, your body, every part of your life, that you want to enter this ministry as a whole, maybe you're my YouTube ministry, why not? Those address will be shown on your screen. For the, and my PayPal is on my website. God bless you all. Once again, this is Evangelist Joshua broadcasting from the heart of Lagos, Nigeria. Remain blessed. I want you to keep subscribing to our YouTube channel. I want you to invite your friends. I want to invite your family.